Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we're going to show a quick lesson about greatest common factors or relatively prime, if numbers are relatively prime or if they have a greatest common factor. So first off, we need to talk about what is a common factor. We, we talked about common denominators before, and we talked about having you know, common numbers in common when we were reducing fractions. And that's essentially what it is. A common factor are if two numbers are compos composite, first off, you can find if they have a common factor. So here's an example of how we would find if these two numbers have any common factors. You list all the factors of these two numbers. So in this case, we'll list the factors of 20 are are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Those are all of the factors of 20. And the factors of 15, or the numbers that can be multiplied together to give you 15, are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now we're going to identify any numbers between these two that are common. So in this case, we have both 1 and, and 5 are common. But we don't really count one. One is always in common with every number, so we don't need to list that one. And in fact, it's not really counted. So basically, we're not going to count one from now on. We'll just list and look for other common factors. So in this case, they have the common factor of five. So we would say that the common factors between 20 and 15 is five. There's one common factor, it's five. When we're asked to find a greatest common factor, that's if we have two numbers and they're both composite, they both have factors. We want to find all of the factors first, list them, discover any that are common, and the greatest common factor would be the largest of these factors that are common. So for example, you see 12 the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. These are all the numbers that will multiply together to give you 16 or multiply together to give you 12. You'll notice that both these numbers have 2 in common and 4 in common. But 4 is the largest of those two numbers, of those factors, so our greatest common factor in this case is 4. Okay? So some numbers may have multiple things that are in common. We always pick the largest, and that's the greatest common factor. Let's find the greatest common factor between 100 and 25. The steps for finding the greatest common factor, again, list all the factors. So the factors of 100 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, 100. Lots of them. The factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. I'm going to look at all those factors and pick the largest factor. You know, they do have 5 in common, but 25 is the greatest common factor. It's the largest factor that is common between both of these composite numbers. All right. Let's find the greatest common factor of 20 and 21. We're going to do exactly those same steps. First, we list all the factors. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. The factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, 21. Hold on. Wait a minute. 2, 4, 5, 10. They don't have anything in common. None of these, I mean, both of these numbers are composite numbers, but they don't have any common factors. When you get a number or two numbers that have no common factors, we, um, we would actually say that these two are relatively prime. So if two numbers have no common factors other than one, we don't count one. We can't select the greatest common factor. So compared with each other or relative to each other, they are prime numbers. You'll notice that both of these numbers, neither of them are prime. 20 and 21 are both composite numbers. They both have factors, but they just have nothing in common with each other. So we would say that these two numbers are relatively prime. There's no common factor, therefore no greatest common factor. All right? So we're going to do one more question, identifying the greatest common factor or identify this number, these two numbers as being relatively prime. 
So we'll look at the numbers 36 and 17. We'll list all of the factors. Factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. The factors of 17 are 1 and 17. 17 is, in fact, a prime number. And with these two numbers, they have nothing in common. So we would say they are relatively prime. All right. So these two numbers are relatively prime. One is a composite number, one is a prime number. It doesn't matter if they're, the numbers themselves are prime or composite. What we're looking for is common factors between them. So in this case, 36 and 17 are relatively prime. And that is the end of our lesson on greatest common factors or relatively prime numbers.